welcome to this month's knit club we're doing bobbles there are a variety of ways you can do bobbles and this is just one way of doing them we're gonna do stockinging stitch basically for the main part and these are stocking net stitch for the bobbles as well and then we still have our garter border going on on the edges so we'll get into our piece here and I already went ahead and did just one row of knit to get us started. You'll want to figure out what side is your right side and your wrong side. I'm now currently on my wrong side. This is my right side here. And the way I like to tell where I'm at in it is to go back and look at where my stocking needs stitches. It's the one that I really know which one it is and then I just compare it to what side we're at. So the first row and I actually made up a chart I will be putting that into our Facebook group as well into the guides. I made a chart going this way then that way so I did this row and then I'm gonna do this one. The X's are the knits and the blank ones are the pearls and then bobble stitches I have marked as B's. And we should have our 30 stitches. So my second row here, I'm just gonna knit three, purl until the last three, and then knit those three. Nothing too different from what we've learned there. And you could put bobbles in any pattern you want. You could make a shape with them. You could spell out a letter. But this is just a basic pattern I made for us to learn on. So you can do whatever you would like or you can follow this. And now I'm at my last three, so I will just knit those last three for our garter border. Now, with my pattern, I'm going back this way. It is going to be just another row of knit and another row of pearls, so I'm just going to go ahead and do those. And we're not even to our bobble part yet. We're just building this bottom part and this background that we'll be working into. So now that I've done all that, this is where the action kind of begins. We're here at row five and we're going to do some knits and then a bobble. Um, if you're following the pattern, we're going to do seven knits uh, or you can just decide where you want to put a bobble and that is fine. So I'm going to knit seven. Now here on this stitch, we're going to start our bobble. So with our bubble, I'm going to knit just like regular, then I'm going to knit one in the back. And I'm going to knit another one here in the front. And I'm going to knit another one in the back. And then just one more knit front. So that's going to make a total of five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to take our work and turn it. And we're going to take and purl those five stitches that we just did. Now other bubbles might be just three 
You can also do yarn overs instead of the front and backs, but I'm just working with our make front and back stitches. Turn it back the other way again and knit those five stitches once more. last one we're going to pass over our stitches so we're going to take basically get it so that it's just one stitch have to turn it for that. And passing over, you're just going to take each individual stitch from our bobble and put it over that first one. And this is not one of the stitches of the bobble, so we're good right here. Now you want to pull that tight and then do our next knit stitch pretty tight so that we don't get any space there next to it. And then we go back to our pattern. You count how many you've got here in between. I've got 14 stitches it looks like, so I'm going to knit 14. Each box equals a stitch. So doing a bobble, you knit and into that same stitch, you knit into the back. And then go back into the front and knit that. At the back knit and one lost into the front. It might get a little tight for you. You have to kind of force your needle in and out. We're gonna turn our work and purl those five stitches. again and knit the five stitches and then we're going to pass over the stitches one at a time going to the second one and putting it over the first one. And there you go. And then you continue your pattern. It's all knits from here on. And you want to make sure that first one you do is 
height. And there we go. We've done our bobbles. They kind of look a little goofy at this point. They'll kind of spread out a little better and be less um, scrunched once we do our next row. Um, which our next row is going to be knit three, the purl across, till the last three, and then knit those last three. Um, when you do the purls here by the bobbles, you'll want to make sure it's a little tight to help prevent any holes from happening. And here's what the bobbles look like from the back side. They're kind of like a divot. There are our first two bobbles completed and more flattened out than they were. Um, at this point, we'll be doing another row of knit and another row of the purl, and then we'll do another bobble. So you just continue following your pattern or adding in bobbles where you feel like it um, until you get to the length you want. With this pattern that I've made, I leave it to going the length that I want, uh, minus a row of purl and border because that's how I'll finish it so I'll do a couple more rows here so that we can see how this works out. So here I am at my next bobble. I'm just going to do it just like we did the ones before, knitting in the front, knitting in the back. And see, I don't always get it on my first try. Knitting on the front, knitting on the back. And then one more knit on the front. So I have five stitches. I turn my work. I'm gonna purl those five stitches. Knit those five. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to pass them over. So we go to your second one and pull it over the first. And just keep doing that until you've gone through all of those stitches and you have the one left right there. And then I just knit the rest of these stitches. I've got another row of the purling with the garter border and another row of knit after that just to give some space to the bobbles so they're not all on top of each other. 
and then my pattern will repeat from that row five where I started doing the bobbles. We've got two sets of our bubbles, and this is our first of the pattern repeat. You can just continue repeating from there. If you have any questions, the information for contact will be in the description, and I will also have a link to our Facebook group where I will be posting this pattern. So best of luck and thank you for watching.